piece of metal there. What does he got there, man? Piece of metal. I'm a lock picker. But this is a warded lock. There's only like one or two uh, parts to it that you have to rotate to get it to open. Well, he's he shaking it. Can pick he's the shaking lock. it. Yeah, baby. So he got oh, that. he got it. Oh. See, Actually, that's smart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a burning ember from this fire and I'm gonna put it in the tender fungus. I guess you can see that uh, it's transferred in there. We got it going. It's it's rolling up. Skilled dude for sure. The lunar moth. One thing is, is when you see these lunar moths. You usually don't find them with their tails complete like this. The bats like to swoop down at them and it breaks off their tails. You know if this guy just hatched and he's getting his wings, we just put him on a tree here and let him uh, go on about his merry way. Whew, that was a tough slog. What's he grabbing there? That's a piece of tender fungus. This is good. I mean, this could be used to carry a coal. If you start a fire, you can actually take an ember and place it in here and it'll slowly smolder. I might just uh, keep a few pieces of these. I'm kind of an opportunist. Chris just found tender fungus, which grows on live birch trees. That one follow in this river. I'm thinking this is gonna be camp for tonight. Gotta work for now. baby. So uh, when these clams basically they'll heat up and they'll steam themselves on the inside and when they pop open pretty much they're done. <laughs> yeah. These are good. Better than good. They're excellent. I haven't seen yet a sense of urgency about the game. Right now he's Matt and John are out on assignment, so we decided to let the new guy, Chris, in on this one. What are you guys having planned? We're gonna use that bear to get Casey. Let's go. Wait a minute, what are we doing? All right, bears love ice cream. Who doesn't Ooh. love ice cream? Yeah, this exactly. bear loves huckleberry ice cream. <laughs> what are we gonna do with it? I got an awesome plan in place. We're gonna lure this bear away with some huckleberry ice cream. Actually, wait, I need to clarify that. Chris is gonna lure the bear away with ice cream. Now we're gonna lure an 800 pound grizzly bear capable of shredding a human being away from his human best friend and no one's gonna get hurt. Hey Brutus, Brutus, come here buddy. Now this qualifies as what you would call one of those don't try this at home moments. Good boy, let's go. Come on, Brute Brute. We immediately rescued two other bears. All right, so here's the basic plan. While Casey's playing tour guide, we're using Brutus as our bait to trap Casey. Chris is gonna lead Brutus from his normal pen through a tunnel and into an adjacent pen. Come on, Brutus. Come on, Brutus. Chris, come on. Come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's not from a kitty cat. No. Definitely in the land of the bear. I mean, that's a billboard right there. Kind of like dominance, you know? A bear would come and scratch, and the bigger bear comes and scratches above it and says, hey, this is my neighborhood. I'm the bigger bear. When I see bear sign, it means that there's uh, food that I can eat nearby. But then that means there's bears nearby. Berries in there. He's digging in it. He's probably checking to see what the local bears are eating. Well, what's he going to get from that? What's that information for? Well, that's going to probably lead him or at least steer him in the right direction to find additional food sources. <laughs> Got this thing to use. Uh, uh. What's he doing so, with that poop? He's putting it in the diaper. That's 
He's saving this. Save that for later. That's weird. I don't know what he's doing with that. He's just carrying it around. <laughs> Sometimes a snow shelter can get actually warm and drip on you and make you actually wet. And cold and wet equals hypothermia. Person. Steel wool. Who the hell gave this guy steel wool? What's going on, man? We're going to have right. to screen Chris's entrances into the game from now on. <laughs> Casey and I are new at this. I just wanted to help him out just a little bit. And, you know, steel wool is kind of a universal survival tool. Let's see if you can make something good out of this. I like the look of this bird. Yeah. Batteries in this thing might just do the trick. Mm, there's this avalanche beacon. If I can get one end of this on the positive and one end on the negative, short through all these wires, maybe I can get something to happen. Come on, baby. If you take a 9-volt battery and put it in steel wool, I guarantee you, you'll get yourself a fire. But these little ones, he's going to have to work a lot harder. I don't know if there's enough, enough oomph in the batteries. He's also running the risk of overheating those batteries by constantly shorting them out, and they could potentially explode. That would be awesome. And he would have a fire. Yeah. He's right there, man. He's right there. Are you cheering for him? There's a lot of berries in there. What is he doing? Before I go any further, I'm going to try something here. So what I'm going to do is make bear poo tea. This, to me, looks like drinking pee. Like, if you're a pee drinker, you got problems, OK? <laughs> Uh-oh. I wonder if that was a thermal shock issue of taking, you know, cold water, putting it on a hot fire, breaks the bottle. Bottle fell off because he's trying to cook some poop. <laughs> Even a piece of glass knew that that wasn't kosher. <laughs> <laughs>
And then practice these skills or at least be creative with these skills. And then the last piece is your tools and your gear. Uh, the prior slide I had about if you're separated from your gear, perfect example. And lastly, this is the best survival kit on the planet. It weighs nothing, it's always with you. You'll never be separated from those three bottom items.